so a couple days ago, we did the Michael Jordan challenge, and that didn't end too well. As we didn't get too lucky, we got the Detroit Pistons as the team we selected. We won two straight finals, but we ended up losing in year four. So today is the LeBron James challenge. Now, LeBron James went to eight straight finals, four with the Miami Heat, and four with the Cleveland Cavaliers. He did win three of them. He went three and five in those eight years. So today, we are going to try to do the same. We are going to try to go to at least eight straight finals and try to win at least three of them. Because we didn't complete the Michael Jordan challenge. If I don't complete this, I don't think I'm going to complete the Bo Russell and then the Greg Popovich, maybe. But yeah, today I decided to pick my team and I chose the Boston Celtics. And before we get into the challenge, today's video is sponsored by Displate. Displate is this super cool website that has over 800,000 designs to choose from. Displate also plants a tree for every Displate sold. They're already at 11.8 million trees planted. It's damage free and it's super easy to mount with their magnetic mounting. Anyone can also join as an artist and upload their own designs. It ships worldwide, usually three to four days in the US and most of Europe. It's official partners with Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and other big name brands. I want to show you some of the ones I already have. So I have one of my favorite player to watch in the NBA currently, and that is Luka Doncic. Look how good this looks. I have one of the current college I go to, and that's Temple University. I have one of my favorite NBA team. Sadly though, it's the New York Knicks, but this still looks pretty freaking cool. Got one of who you might consider is the NBA GOAT, and it is Michael Jordan. This one looks really, really good. I also have one of the greatest shooter of all time in NBA history, Steph Curry. This one looks really nice. And I'm also going to show you one that I hung up and it's my favorite one that I have. So it's super easy to set up. All you got to do is just clean your wall if necessary with the wipes that they give you. Wait 10 minutes, stick the sticky leaf on the wall. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to place the magnet onto it. And then you can see it goes on right away. It's that easy. Look how nice that looks. Shout out to Display for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description and the pinned comment below. Or their stay at home sale where if you buy one to two displays, you get 27% off your order. And if you get three or more, you get 35% off if you use the code home. All right, so I did just simulate the rest of the 2019-20 season. Now, if we don't win it this year, it's not going to count. It's then we're going to start it next year. But if we do win it throughout the sim, then we'll start the challenge now. So yeah, I chose the Boston Celtics because I haven't done a rebuild in almost a month with them. They have assets. They're semi good. So I was like, you know what? I want to do this team. And then for the Bell Russell challenge, maybe it would have been smart to do the Celtics for the Bell Russell challenge. But I always do. So we'll switch it up and we'll pick another team. So yeah, let's just simulate the playoffs and see if we can maybe win it all in year number one. We're in the conference finals. Oh, all right that is that is lucky maybe 2k realized how bad the michael jordan challenge went so they're gonna start me off the right way in today's video as we're already one for one we've already won one finals we just need to win two more we can lose six more or five more but hey that is very lucky kemba walker is your finals mvp all right so the grizzlies did they end up making the playoffs i think i did see them in the western conference yes so we'll probably have the 15th pick going into the draft it is the 16th pick actually so we have 16 we also have 30 and 28 so we have three first round picks i think i'll probably be looking to make a trade obviously we are going to want a center on this team and we'll have to decide when kemba might regress and if we should possibly move him and then obviously next year we're gonna have to pay jason tatum a lot of money so this might be the last year we might have some flexibility actually no uh i, I retract that statement but yeah i don't know if i'll move kemba um, in this video, that will obviously come at some point. He is 30, so maybe when we see some regression, but I don't think I'm going to trade him this offseason. But I'll probably look to move Gordon Hayward as this will be his last year in his deal. Uh, Marcus Smart, we'll see. We'll see what we want to do with Smart. Um, and obviously, some other people we'll have to deal with as well. So if we could just look at uh, what we could do. Tice, I think, could still be a good backup center next year, so I don't want to move him. Like, what could I get for Robert uh, Williams and these two first-round picks? Brooke Lopez. If I was getting real-life Brooke Lopez, yeah, but in 2K, he's just not as good as he is in real life. Larry Nance Jr., Patrick Beverly. I would either like to move up in the draft or get a good center, Mitch Robinson. I'm not going to pick him up uh, like I always do just because his contract is good and he develops. I mean, getting James Wiseman would be amazing. I mean, who's got the second overall pick in the draft? Who's got number two? Because we could try to do this. We could try to do this. It is the uh, Chicago Bulls. I don't think they'll accept this, but they might. They might because it's 2K. If I gave up three of my first round picks, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, and Romeo Langford, 
uh, to go up to two. So the 15th pick, 28, 30, and three young players that I don't think will develop into crazy players for us. They might accept this, honestly. No? Okay. So I will see if this will go through for three. And then if not, then we'll probably think of something else. Atlanta? Oh, they should accept this. I might not even have to give up Robert Williams. Yeah, they accept that. Okay. So I want to make sure I get James Wiseman because that would be huge. So he might go one. Is that what the mock drafts are saying? Uh, so it's the Cavs. They do have Drummond. So maybe they won't take him, but I definitely, I think, need to move up. Um, and I'll probably use Robert Williams for that. Um, and like Vincent Poirier. I don't think Williams and uh, Poirier will get me to one. But we could try. Would Cleveland do this? They would want my 2022 first and a second, and they'll give me a learning and a shooter. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. So I know I'm definitely getting James Wiseman. And that shooter will be a backup big for us next year, or we could trade him. So we did draft James Wiseman. Obviously, he's going to develop into a star for us. At least he does for everybody else. So hopefully he does for us. So team player options, Hayward opts in, but we are going to still look to move him uh, just so we can capitalize on his value. And his candidate declines. He would have had some nice trade value. But if we have bird bites, maybe I'll try to bring him uh, back to trade him. We'll pick up Javante. Uh, no, nah, because I'm just not going to play them. So what's the, uh, I guess I could have put him in a trade. So that was stupid of me. Uh, so we'll give uh, Fall and Shamar Waters the qualifying offers. So moratorium here. Uh, do we have any free agents? It's just semi- uh, obviously we aren't gonna have enough money for like an Anthony Davis at all whatsoever. So if we were looking to possibly move, hmm, Carson Ed uh, yeah, let's say we move Carson Edwards and Gordon Hayward. Like what could we get? Tobias Harris? I would be in the market for a power forward particularly. So we'll see what we get. Clint Capella is nice, but I don't want to give up Tice and obviously I have Wiseman. So that really wouldn't be a wise decision. Uh, God, I'm a loser. Uh, so I'm not really getting a good power forward that I'm like comfortable putting. I mean, Oladipo would be nice. Uh, that would keep Oladipo at the 2, Brown at the 3, Tatum at the 4. You know what? That's not horrible. And I would get Jeremy Lamb as well. That's not a bad idea. Blake Griffin. Oh. If he was like 2 years younger, I would. But I don't want to. He's going to regress sooner than then. I'll regret it. Aldridge would be nice. But I don't want to give up Daniel Tice as well. Okay. So obviously, Tobias Harris. But I am winning towards this Oladipo trade. Now, I do have to give up a first round pick though. But let's see if they'll do it without it. Um... No, they want they want first round picks. Uh, would you enjoy some seconds? Obviously, the Celtics don't have any future first round picks anymore. Seconds do not get it done. See, this is where Semi and Javante Green would have came in handy, but I am stupid. So, does Larry Nance Jr. Okay, let me let me sign somebody in free agency. So we could sign like a Reggie Jackson here. Um, we could sign a Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, you know what? Give me a Jordan Clarkson here, and then I could probably put like Clarkson in that trade or something. So. Uh, if I'm able to bring back Ennis Kanter, I will, but I just don't think I'll be able to afford him. Uh, yeah, because I think I'll be able to afford Clarkson and that's it. I mean, if I can still sign Kanter, that'd be huge, but... Oh, wow, that's that's actually really nice. So, Kanter, uh... Oh, please accept my deal. There we go, he should. There we go. Okay, so now I want to see what I can get, uh, for... Let's say Ennis Kanter now and Gordon Hayward. What can we get for those guys? Because we have Wiseman and Tice, um, and if Tice regresses, I could always do a sound and trade with him next year. So, Tobias Harris... Eh, I don't know if I want him to be my power forward or move Tatum to the four. So I'm getting some nice centers, but like Gobert is nice, but I, I want Wiseman to be my center because I'm not getting any good. Mm, that's a good trade. I'm getting all deep on some bonus, but didn't this happen in the LeBron James challenge with my DeRozan trade? It literally is the same thing. I mean, Sabonis, I think would be a really nice fit. Could we do somehow like a Hayward for Sabonis swap? Obviously, they wouldn't be able to afford that. So what about if we took over... McDermott off your hands mm, not gonna happen I would have to be probably Jeremy Lamb and they would want two first round picks I mean this this uh Carson Edwards of course not oh okay okay all right I don't think this the Mavericks would do this but this would kind of complete the team Gordon Hayward Clarkson and this Canada for Chris Stops and Dwight Powell uh they will not do that I don't think one first round pick and Carson Edwards will get it done uh no it's not gonna damn it Okay, I found possibly the guy we can get, and that is John Collins to be our power forward. Would they do a Hayward for Collins swap? Because that would be amazing. Okay, uh, if I threw in Carson Edwards, would that get it done? And, okay, I, I don't mind throwing it in his canner, but will they have the... Okay, they have the cap to do it. Come on. I, and I'll throw in a 2023 first round pick. Mmm, come on. That sucks. I really want to... There we go. Okay, so we pick up John Collins. We probably aren't going to have a lot of Jeff Capital or any Jeff Capital for the rest of the video. So is there anybody else I want to move? We have one... Two, three, four. I might trade Jordan Clarkson for a backup point guard. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to trade Jordan Clarkson for a backup point guard. I do want to move Tatum to the small forward position. 
where he should go up. Yeah, he goes up to a 91. So I'm going to trade Jordan Clarkson for a backup point guard, and that'll be the last move of the offseason. Jordan Clarkson for Lonzo Ball, would they do this? They would want Daniel Tice. I don't want to give up Tice right now. All right, I really can't find a good point guard to get for Jordan Clarkson. That would be actually like not losing value on that. So Marcus Smart could be technically our backup point guard. So it is what it is. I hope Wiseman can be a huge contributor right away because we need to go back to the finals next year. We technically would fail it. I'm still going to try to go eight years anyway and just see how many finals we can win in eight years. So I'm going to send Jason Tatum to perimeter shooting. James Wiseman to big man defense. And then I also think I'm going to send... John Collins, the perimeter shooting as well. All right, guys, so the rotation is 33 to the backcourt, 34 to Tatum, 31 to the frontcourt, 23 to Smart and Clarkson, and 16 to Tice and Dan Sheener. This is a proficiency. We are going to go to anything four and a half. No, but we will go to four-star balance, and our preseason power ranking, CoinMB.com, is three. We need to go back-to-back -back next year to get this challenge rolling. All right, so in our first full year of control of the Boston Celtics, we go 65 and 17. Brad Stevens does get coach of the year. And we are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We're taking on the 8 seeded Cavs in round one. I'm not too worried to face this team. Uh, who did we trade them? Okay, yeah, Robert Williams. Oh, because we got the number one pick. Yeah, because they, because we have Nance Jr. We also have Jordan Clarkson, so two former Cavs here. Players side, Jason Tatum, 23 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 54, 44, 87 splits. He's up to a 93 overall. Kemba, about 20 points, 6 and a half assists, 45, 43, 88 splits. Another really good year. Uh, for Kemba Walker, how many years is left is he under contract? Because we're going to have to decide when we're going to trade him. Because I'm going to probably want to trade him at some point uh, before his contract runs up. John Collins, 16.7 points per game, 9 rebounds, 61, 34, 79 splits. Jalen Brown, about 15 points, 5.5 rebounds, shot 36 from 3. Wiseman as a rookie, 14 and 9, 42, 30, 74 splits. All right. And then there's Clarkson, Nance Jr., Smart, and Tice. So uh, for the playoffs, we will kind of give... Um, we'll go like 14 to Tice. We'll go 15 to Nance Jr. Um, we'll go 32 to the front court and we'll give Tatum 35. Uh, probably go 31 and we'll go 34, sure. All right, so round one here against the Cavs. I'm not too worried as we end up sweeping them. But now we got to face KD and Kyrie. Kemba Walker had a really solid round one in those four games. Tatum, eh, not as much, not as much. John Collins was really good. All right, so now we're going to take on... Kyrie, Dinwiddie, Durant, Allen, Jordan, Levert, Korkmaz, Claxton, and Torian Prince. Oh, this might suck if we lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Yes, we win. Okay, we win in six. But now we're going to face Giannis and the Bucks. It's never easy, but we did beat them last year. So, please, can we get past them this year? We're not too well. <laughs> Damn it. We lost by one in game one. We almost came back. And then Giannis literally manhandled us in game two. Okay. All right. All right. We might have to change this to the eight straight Eastern Conference Finals appearance video really quickly. If we don't win this game, we are screwed. Okay, so it is two to one. Uh, let's go out and tie it up because if we tie it up, we have a whole new series here. They beat us both times in Boston and we're going to beat them both times here in Milwaukee. All right, that's that's cool. I'll take it, I guess. So it is two two. Can we go up three to two? Can we go up three to two? Let's win in Boston. Let's win in Boston. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We went three and answered. That is what I'm talking about. And let's just simulate the round and go to the finals. Yes. Yes. Second straight finals. Let's go. We don't need to win. We need to go three and five. We're already one and oh. Now we're taking on the Mavs. So Alfred Payton, Luca, Chris Stops, Seth Curry. Okay. Pretty standard team. They just added uh, uh, Alfred Payton. That's really it. So I think we should be chilling. And we sweep them. That's two straight finals for the Boston Celtics. All right. Tatum had himself a series. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to get paid this offseason. So, Jeff Lottery, we won't have anything going into this because we did trade all our draft capital. I believe we don't even have our first round pick for this draft. Oh, we do. All right. It's at pick 30. I look to move that for a future first on a team that might be good this year, but not next year. So, we'll look at that. Uh, we'll get the former Miami Dolphins defensive lineman here to be our chief financial officer. Now, let's go to the NBA draft here. Uh, Scotty Pippen Jr. All right. So if we are looking to make a move, I mean, we did win it with the uh, smart Clarkson, but Clarkson is 29. Hmm. Smart does have one year left. I don't want to move smart because obviously like Celtics fans love him, but can we deal without smart? Can we try to capitalize on his value? Oh, cause that's, that's pretty nice, but I don't need buddy Hill. That's a thing. I don't need him. Like we already have kind of our score off the bench of Jordan Clarkson. And we already have Jalen Brown starting Marcus Morris, but he's, He's 31, Dowell 32, Malik Beasley. I don't know. All right, what about if we did 30 and Larry Nance Jr.? Because I wouldn't mind moving Nance. Rubio, a backup point guard could be a thing. Backup small forward. 
Just depends what I'm getting offered here. Derek Favors, who is 30. Uh, he's got two years left on his deal. Might bring might bring in Derek Favors because he can replace Tice. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Oh, Gallo is interesting. But I'd have to give up a second. Do I have to do that for Favors? No, I do not. So, you know what? I'm going to pick up Derek Favors here for the next two years. He'll be our backup center. Uh, we do not offer a draft pick here. So, team player options, we got no one. Uh, Kawhi opted out. All right. Qualifying offers, Tatum, Collins. A couple guys from the 2017 draft class. They will definitely get that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Giannis, please go to the West. Damn it. Looks like he's going to stay in Milwaukee. Kawhi, do not come to the East. Damn it. Uh, and then anybody else, Paul George, is going to... I don't know where he's going to go. All right. So, yeah. We don't have any unrestricted free agents besides Tice. So, we're going to offer him 10 mil a year. And then we're going to trade him anyway. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, we are going to read out some nights on anyone. So, don't even think about it. Uh, these guys, we can. So, yeah. Uh, Tatum's going to get a deal from the Clippers. Collins gets a deal from the Suns. We're obviously going to match both those deals. All right. So, we got both of them back. So... Yeah, I don't really need to do anything else here, but we will look to move Daniel Tice, Giannis, Bucks, Kawhi, Pulse, Gobera, Hawks. Oh, the East. We did not want the East to get stronger this year. So, Daniel Tice, what can I get for you? I don't want to give up any future first round picks. Zubats is 24. That could be something. But then favors, maybe I'll move favors next year. I don't really need two backup centers. First round pick from the Knicks. All right, you know what? I like the Zubats trade. Or Th Thomas Bryant's 23. But I think I'd rather have Zubats here. But I don't want to give up a first round pick. Can we just do Tice for Zubats? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is that. And then I'm going to look to move Favors. His stint in Boston was very short. But is Eddie Osman? I, I'm not giving up a first. I don't really want to trade a first round pick at all. So let's see if we can find something. All right. I'm going to sign, I think, George Hill to a two-year deal to be our backup point guard. Play very minimal minutes a night. Uh, probably like 12 to 15. But now, I think I'm just going to move Derek Favors. Because I was going to try to move him for a backup point guard. Well, can I just get a first round pick out of them? Let me just make sure I got 10 guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm just going to move Derek Favors for like a first round pick. Get some more draft capital there. Uh, will anybody offer me a first round pick in the trade finder? Nope. Uh, so let's see. The Cavs seem interested. Would you give me your first round pick next year? Unprotected? <laughs> Bang. Let's do that. So play progression. We do have a 92 overall Jason Tatum. Kemba Walker. I think once he opts in next year, I'm going to trade him. I'm going to trade Kemba Walker just because he's going to regress. We're going to have to pay him like 40 mil a year. Yeah, uh, this is going to be last year uh, as our point guard. So maybe we'll have first round picks. Maybe that Cavs pick could be something and we could trade that with Kemba. I don't know. But yeah, the team's improving. Uh, nobody went down, which is good. So we literally have so many guys with the first letter of their first name starting with J. We literally have five straight guys right here. Uh, Jalen, Jason, John, uh, James, and Jordan. So yeah, the lineup's going to be Kemba, Brown, Tatum, Collins, Wiseman, same starting five as last year that won us the finals. And the bench is just going to be pretty similar here with the 6th and 7th men. But instead of Nance, Jr., and Tice, we now have Zubats and George Hill, which I think is actually an upgrade. Uh, we are now 4 to half star balanced! Are we going to hit 5 star today? I don't know, because we're going to move Kemba Walker. Uh, nothing is 5 stars, but that is kind of crazy. I mean, if we swapped out, if we swapped out Wiseman, I mean, Collins for anyone, like... Hold on a second. I want to put George Hill and then we'll put Kemba Walker as the shooting guard. And then we'll do Jalen Brown at the small forward position. And then at power forward, if we put Tatum there, will this be five stars? I literally... Okay, no, it's actually four stars. All right. Whatever. So, yeah, let's... Uh, our preseason power ranking is one. Let's go for that three, Peter. Or at least just go to the finals uh, so we could just get that going. So, in year three, this Celtics team goes 68 and 14. Brad Stevens gets coach of the year once again. Luka got MVP. Uh, we didn't have anybody on all NBA first team or second team or third team. All right. So we are the one seed once again, though, in the Eastern Conference. And the Cavs were the two seed. So that pick isn't going to be as valuable, which sucks. Uh, we are to get on the Pacers, who don't have Oladipo anymore. They have Malcolm Brogdon at their point guard. Keon Johnson from Tennessee. Yeah, from Tennessee at their shooting guard. TJ Warren, uh, DeMontis Sabonis, Clint Capella, Miles Turner. Okay, so they have Clint and Gallo now. Kendrick Nunn, Aaron Holiday. It's a good team, but we, we should win. Uh, player stats from this year, Jason Tatum won us in scoring. Wiseman took a jump this year. He averaged 19, 11, and shot 34 from three. Kemba Walker, 18 and point, seven and assists. He had a really good year. I just, he's going to be 32. I, I don't want, I think I'm going to trade him. I'm going to play it safe and try to get like a nice young point guard that can develop. I don't think I'll be able to trade him for like a John Morant, but maybe a Lamelo Ball, maybe a Kate Cunningham, De'Aaron Fox. I think that might be the guy we go after. We'll see though. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So John Collins, 17 and 10. He shot 37 from three on his new contract. Jalen Brown, 15 and five. 
38 from three. I don't think I'll be thinking about trading him anytime soon because he's on a fairly affordable contract. Did uh, Collins get more than him per year? About the same. Okay, about the same. I was curious there. So, uh, there's Jordan Clarkson, who will be 30. Maybe we'll look to move him while he'll be going into the last year of his deal. Smart will be a free agent. He did shoot 37 from three, though, and had five assists. And then there's Zubats and George Hill, who was just really efficient for us. He had a true shooting percentage of 66%. So, round one here against the Pacers. Please don't, like, scare me. Okay, so, two straight years. We sweep round one. But now we got to face Giannis and the Bucks in round two. They're not great. I mean, Bledsoe... Yeah, he's regressing a little bit, as you can see. Middleton. Okay, 2K up to sentence, he's good. Because he's now really good in 2K. Uh, compared to what he used to be. The Cavs, who did they get? They get TJ McConnell, Sexton Paul. How is this team a two seed? Wow, I mean, like, they have a good bench. Damn, alright. Uh, so, can we not lose to Milwaukee here? I'm scared. I'm scared. Game 1, we do win. We won by 28. Alright, that's definitely a good sign to see. Uh, let's see. I'm scared. I'm, like, scared here. Okay, we're up 2-0. Uh, so we won by 7 here. We won both games in Boston. So, uh, we end up sweeping the Bucks. All right, sweet. So now we got to take on Katie and Kyrie here in the conference finals. Hopefully one of them leaves Brooklyn, uh, this free agency. So Kyrie, Levert, Katie, Torian, uh, Jordan, Jarrett, Mike Conley, they signed Claxton and Furkan. So I do want to see, we are currently 8-0 in the playoffs. Who is playing well? Kemba, man, he really does not want to get traded. We'll see what we can get from him. If it's, like, not anything great, maybe we will keep him. But it might be smart to move him. I don't know. Let's just get through the playoffs first. So, we're taking on uh, Brooklyn here. And we do win in five. So, we are currently 12-1 in one in the playoffs. Uh, now, we're taking on the Pels, who have Lonzo, Drew, Ingram, uh, Zion, and Hayes, as you would expect. Shooter, RHJ, RJ Hampton, and Yaka Pertle, And Nall off the bench. If we do lose, it's okay. We are currently 2-0 here in the finals. Um, and we actually... I think they blew a 3-1 lead. James Wiseman is your finals MVP. And he only shot like 43 from the field and 30 like 2 from 3. But it was 1-0 of them. It was, yeah, they were up 3-1. to one. They blew a 3-0 lead. Game 7, Tatum and Kemba went off. Wow, Kemba had a good playoffs. He shot 50 from 3. All right, we are currently 3-0. So we already won the max amount of finals we need. But hey, if we win more, it's okay. Then we, we did better than the LeBron James Challenge. But... We just need to go to five more finals, and it's okay if we lose them all. So yeah, we shouldn't have our first round pick this year, I believe, but that Cavs pick, let's see where it's at. It is going to be number, ooh, it is low. It is 29. <laughs> One spot higher from what it, what it would have normally been. Damn, all right. So that wasn't a great trade. So let's get a good head scout. Let's pick up Mason Miller. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft now. So Jabari Smith, obviously we're not going to get a Moni Bates. Uh, do I trade Jason, uh, Jalen Brown for the number one pick and get him? I mean, that would be, I think I would do that, but we just been in three straight finals. We've won three straight finals. I don't want to do anything stupid. I, I don't, I'm not going to do this. Oh, Siakam. Oh my God. Uh, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not blowing it up. I can't, I can't blow it up. Uh, or just move Brown. That would just be dumb, but I could move George Hill or Jordan Clarkson. Like I could move the 29th pick at George Hill. Could we get a younger, better or younger backup point guard? Fred Van Vliet? All right, maybe, maybe. It's definitely a good offer, at least, because Kyle Lowry's 36. Come on, we're not doing that. Uh, we could take on that contract, though. That could be something. So, not getting anything crazy there. All right, I think I found the guy. Ooh, Lonzo, but he's making 22 million a year. But I think I already found the guy I want. What? I could get Oladipo to come off the bat. I don't need that. I don't need that. I found the guy that I think... Because I, I feel like that's just going to be too good. And sometimes when your teams are just so good, they're bad. Uh, but I found a guy that I could just trade Clarkson in a first round pick for. And that is going to be someone that's three years younger than him. And that is Karis LeVert. He's on a one-year deal, but we can lock him up next year. Uh, and I'm going to like this trade. Unless I could do this with George Hill instead. But I just don't think I'll be... No, definitely not. So, yeah. It'll be Jordan Clarkson and the uh, 29th pick in the draft. Uh, for Karis LeVert, who's 27. And we're going to do that trade. But now, uh, we could look to move George Hill. I mean, it's not looking like I'm going to get anything good for him. So maybe we'll just hold on to him and he'll play like 13 minutes a game next year. So Kemba Walker opts in as expected. We are going to pick up the options on our centers in Wiseman and Zubats. Uh, so yeah, qualifying offers. We'll give it a fall in uh, water, sure. But let's look at and see what we can get for Kemba Walker. Uh, Andre Drummond, Paul George. No, I want somebody below 30. That's the reason I want to trade him. And there's the guy that I was thinking of before. De'Aaron Fox. He's eight years younger. He's in 89 overall, the same as Kemba. Uh, he averaged about 19 points, 9 assists uh, per 36 minutes. Kemba was 
uh, a little bit better. Definitely better shooting wise this year. 100% better shooting wise. I'm really tempted to doing that. I think I'm gonna Jamal Murray as well. He would have been really good per 36, but I kind of, I mean, Kemba average eight and a half assists. Yeah, that that is a little bit of a drop off. Uh, Jamal Murray is an interesting piece. Russ, but no, he's 33. I'm not going to do that. That wouldn't really make sense. D'Lo, but Fox gives me a little bit of defense, better of a defender than Jamal Murray and like a D'Lo. So I'm going to do that. And since Kemba has is more stars, could you give me your first round pick next year? For a second? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do this trade. Thank you, Kemba. You got us three rings. But I think this will be better for the longer term because we still got five more years of this. So we really just have one free agent that we need to bring back, and that is Marcus Smart. So we're going to give him a four-year deal. And if we have to give Wiseman the max soon, we might end up trading him. That could happen down the line, uh, but it's something we have to worry about. Now, Steph is going to go to the Jazz. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's nuts. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep... Uh, we'll keep everybody now. We still have a couple trade exceptions also. So maybe that's smart. We could trade them for somebody more, but it, that might expire soon. I mean, Kyrie, are you leaving? Oh, he's going to stay on the Nets. Damn it. Okay. Curry went to the Magic. Oh, of course he comes to the East. Damn it. All right. So player progression. Tatum is a 94. Collins, 89. Fox, 89. So these three guys are all from the 2017 draft class. Then we have Brown, Wise, and Smart. Smart is 28. Uh, Zubats, Hill, and Levert. Uh, and then we have Waters and Fall off the bench. I'm going to send De'Aaron Fox to perimeter shooting. And I also want to send, I think, James Wiseman. To, actually, we'll send... Yeah, we'll send James Wiseman to big man defense. Dude's a beast already. All right, so we're going to give 33 to the backcourt, 35 to Tatum, 31 to the frontcourt. And then we have Smart, Levert, Hill, and Zubats off the bench. System efficiency is four and a half stars. Fox fits it well. Maybe Collins and Wiseman will develop enough. Well, it might be five stars and we'll get a five star system proficiency i mean that'd be crazy but we'll, we'll wait and see on that so we are number one again we are going for the four peat this year let's hope trading Kemba doesn't bite us and i'll regret that a lot if we don't win it or go to the finals this year wow so our first year after trading Kemba walker we got our video best record of the regular season and we go 72 and 10 we are obviously the one seed steven's one coach of the year we didn't get an mvp though that went to Giannis. so we are taking on the bulls cole anthony pretty solid zach levine pretty solid Kawhi leonard really solid uh larry market and evan moby colby white aaron baines brokoff gafford that's a good team that is a good team and that's a good at probably the best at we have faced yet uh tatum 24 points five and a half rebounds uh he was 55 44 88 he's a 96 wiseman 22 and 11 46 38 81 let's go uh collins 18 and a half and nine he shot 41 from three 91 from the line 64 from the field he had a true shooting at 69%. Uh, Jalen Brown, 15.5, 4.5, 57, 45, 77 uh, splits. I just gave him a new extension, so we have him under contract till he's 30 years old. And then that's when we'll probably look to move him, uh, if that's how far the video goes. Darren Fox, 15 points, 10 assists. You love to see that. 50 from the field, 34 from 3, 72 from the line. And then there's Levert, who I... Who, is 50 40 uh 70 this year uh which is amazing or 50 uh 41 70 and i just gave him a new extension as well that's pretty friendly um as well so happy with that and then there's smart zubats and hill uh we'll figure out what we want to do with those guys and i want to see what kemba did so kemba walker 19 points five assists basically what he's been doing so he hasn't really regressed yet uh i do want to see how much they give him in uh the free agency or if he'll probably make it a free agency honestly so round one here against the bulls we sweep them. We have yet to lose a round one matchup in this video after the first year. I think we won in five against Toronto, but the last three years, we're 12 and 0. Now we're going to take on the Bucks, who we faced a lot so far this year, or in this video, and we beat them every time. Uh, I don't know, though. I feel like it's, there's going to be that one time that where we don't beat them. Okay, we're tied 1 1. Game one, we lost by 12. Game two, we won by 14. All right, let me, uh, let me do a little bit of uh, editing here. Let's go 14 14. 22 32 32 34 34 i don't know we'll see if that did that work or is that a bad idea okay this is i don't want to go down two to one and it's looking like we're gonna be chilling all right we're up two to one here we blow them out tatum i love you levert like that i like that all right let's simulate the round don't don't lose this we win in five all right so our fourth straight eastern conference finals we're taking on the wizards john wall jalen green bradley beal rui hashimura rashawn holmes a combo mo wagner kaminsky ty jones i'm not worried and we win in six. They put us, they put up the biggest fight against us. But now we're taking on another seven seed in the Timberwolves in the finals. D'Lo, um, Isaac Okoro, Jared Culver, Preston Sachua. I guess that was their pick. No, that was the Nets pick. And this was their pick. Okay. 
Uh, Kat, Kate Cunningham. Oh, are they going to beat us? I mean, it's okay if they do. Nope, we are currently 4-0 in the finals. We are halfway there to completing the challenge. Wiseman, 28-11. and 11. I'm glad I got him back in uh, the first offseason. So, would you look at that? That Kings pick as well. It was unprotected. Let's hope it wins the lottery. Please win the lottery. Yes, okay. It jumps up from 7 to 2. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the first auto-generated draft class. So, is there a point guard here? Tyson Goodwin or Gooden. He's 25. That's why auto generated suck, man. But he could be somebody that could replace George Hill. Uh, it's looking like, yeah, uh, I think we'll take him. If not, we'll go with Pablo Barea and then we'll maybe look to move Zubots. But yeah, that could be just an in house replacement. Um, or we could just obviously replace George Hill without having to trade or sign anybody or waste some cap. So yeah, uh, let's do that. Well, I mean, it will cost me some cap anyway. So yeah, we are going to take the best player available, preferably that point guard. All right, so Tice, Tyson Goodwin actually went number one to the Raptors. So I ended up taking Pablo Berea. Uh, Could have been nice to take Pitar Bagaric because uh, he's pretty solid. But you know what? He's 24. I think he'll be pretty good. Oh, wow. Boyd Cummings looks like he was the steal. Mm, I wish I had him fully scouted. That's why I got to get him. So yeah, we're probably going to look to move Zubots now. That he'll be our backup big. Uh, obviously, we're going to pick up the option on Wiseman. He'll be restricted next year. Uh, we'll keep offering Waters and Fall the qualifying offer. We've been doing it like every year now. Uh, is there anybody I want to move? Okay, Zubots, 14 mil. Yeah, we're going to do some type of sign and trade. So let's look at that. Let's hope Katie leaves. Let's hope Harden does not come to the East. And Zion's restricted. Jokic, don't come to the East. Okay, good. Uh, Beal, if you want to leave the East, I'd be fine with that. So yeah, do we get Zubots? We do. We'll let George Hill walk. And yeah, uh, we are going to look to move... Um, uh, Zubats, and then we actually have a $10 million trade exception, so we can actually get a pretty solid backup point guard, uh, once we get, uh, Ivica Zubats back here. So I can actually trade for that guy, Tyson Gooden, uh, but he's only 72 overall, he's 25, so I'm gonna trade for another 25, um, or 26-year-old, and that is Aaron Holiday. We're gonna give up my first round pick next year, I'm sure that'll be at the end of the 20s, and Ivica for Aaron Holiday, and yeah, he's gonna be, like, our 8th or ninth man in the rotation. Alright, so player progression, we just still only have 190, but Brown... Collins and Fox might all be 90s at the end of next year. Wiseman's getting close. Smart will have to decide if he's going to regress. We'll look to move him maybe next offseason. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I like the team we got and I'm ready for next year's season. All right, guys. So the rotation, same starting five as last year. The bench is a little bit different with these last two guys. It is Levert and Smart still, but now we have Aaron Holiday and Pablo Berea. Uh, system proficiency, four and a half stars. I think we're getting closer to that five star. We'll see though um, if it happens in the video. And our preseason power ranking once again is in the top five. We're number three. Let's hope that this year... We can go to our fifth straight NBA Finals. All right, guys. At the end of year five, we end this season with the same record as last year. We go 70 and 12. Once again, we are the one seed. All right. So this rebuild has gone on really. It's gone really well, right? Knock on wood, but it's gone really well. We have three 90s now. We're going to have possibly a whole starting five next year. We're taking on the Bulls. Uh, we swept them last year. They have a really good team. They have two 90s, almost three Almost four. They got Mobley. They're a good team. Here are the player stats. Jason Tatum, 25 points. Is that a career high? 24.8? It is. And he also had 5.7 rebounds. 55, 46, 89 splits. Almost 50, 40, 90. Wiseman, 22 and 10. A very similar season uh, this year from last. But now 49, 38, 85 splits to career high and true shooting at 63%. Uh, John Collins, 16 and a half and nine. He shot 31 from three. All right. Shot 10%. Ooh, okay. Uh, Jalen Brown, 16 and a half points, five rebounds. 57, 46, 75 splits. Fox, 16 points, 10 assists, 51, 38, 78 splits. Uh, Levert, 13 points. He was 53, 43, 72. Uh, there's Holiday, about 10 and 4, 44 from 3. Please tell me he's not a free agent. Okay, no, yeah, he's under contract for next year, which is good. Uh, Smart, 7 and 5 and a half, 36 from 3. He's making a decent amount of money at 15, 17, 18. We might look to trade him in the offseason, uh, try to get younger and cheaper. And Pablo Berea. Didn't do much as a rookie, and he played like 14 minutes a night too, uh, 15, so pretty underwhelming stuff there from the second overall pick. So round one here against the Bulls, oh, they, oh my god, it's 2-2, do not do this to me, do not do this to me, come on, come on, okay, yeah, <laughs> we're good, we're up 3-2 here, this is year 5, correct? I believe this is year 5, so we're going for our 5th NBA Finals, yeah, we are 4-0, come on, just end this series, please, okay, good, yeah, we blow them out in the second, third, and fourth quarter there, and we ended up winning... Uh, by 45 points, so that is very good. Now we're taking on the 76ers, who we've yet to face in this video in the playoffs. Embiid, Thibel, Harris, Richardson, Simmons, Anthony Melden, Olenek. I mean, I, I never have good luck against the Sixers. Don't beat me. Okay, we win in five. Now we're taking on Steph Curry and the Orlando Magic. 
Curry, 48. McDaniels, Gordon, uh, Ibu Dianco Baji, Miles Turner favors. Holy big men. Frank Kaminsky, Shamit, Patrick Baldwin, Noah Vonley. How's Curry been for them? Look at Curry, bro. Look at Curry. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Okay, we're, oh, we sweep them. All right. We are currently in our fifth straight NBA Finals. I don't care if we win. Doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. And we win in five. James Wiseman is your second straight Finals MVP. Draft lottery happened and the Thunder have the 11th, 12th, 13th picks in the draft. They also have five as well. So they are kind of stacked there. The Pacers have the 30th pick. <laughs> We've had the 30th pick for like five straight years there. Um, that was obviously from the Aaron Holiday trade. We don't have any other uh, picks from any other team. So we don't have a first round pick in this draft. Let's bring back Trent Peterson. Let's bring back, I believe it was Owen Masters or maybe it was Abraham Navarro. Either way, we'll just bring him back. And trainer, Randy Martin, shop to a B plus OL. So we're going to get all three of those guys. Let's go to the NBA draft. We're going to look at Marcus Smart trades because he is 30, 17 mil. Second round pick in Marcus Smart. Thibel, oh, he's making more though. He's making more. Reggie Perry, he's an 89. Okay, I don't really want to pay the 22 mil. I kind of want to save money here. Jamario Jones, no. Uh, Dinwiddie making 20 mil. Same with Harold. Jabari Parker, no. Bobby Portis, I'd rather not. Miles Bridges is making three less mil. I mean, Smart has been really important, so maybe I shouldn't trade him yet. Maybe I can wait till he's actually, like, regressing. Monzo, but he's making 25. All right, I might... Roko, he's making 14. Uh, no, he's not that good. Uh, Rayshon Hammonds, maybe. He's making 19 mil, but he's 25. Malik Beasley, how's he been? Uh, not, nothing crazy. All right. You know what? We'll keep him. Uh, we'll keep him for now. Rui? Maybe we'll get Rui. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll keep him for now. So Tatum and Collins both opt out. So, yeah, Tatum's going to want, like, the Supermax here. We're going to have to pay him so much money. Uh, Wiseman, also, we might have to, we might have to trade smart. We're going to have to let go of Fall, Bolden, and Waters. We've been giving them the qualifying offer for like the last five years now. But yeah, uh, we're going to have to give out three max contracts. We're going to have to give Tatum like 40 mil a year so he comes back. Uh, we do want to make sure Collins comes back and we can just give him like that. And he should accept that, right? Yep, he should accept that. And then Wiseman will just match whatever he gets. So please tell me Tatum, we're your number one. Oh, I could have gave him less than that. Oh, I'm going to give him less than that if nobody else is going to offer him a deal. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just give it to him. Uh, I think we're chilling. Uh, so, yeah, we really just need those three back. And, yeah, we get Tatum and Collins. And, obviously, I'm going to match whatever Wiseman gets. And he gets a deal from the Lakers. And we are going to bring him back. So, do we have our nine guys? One, two, three, four. We have four 90s. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready for next year's season. So, play progression. Uh, yeah, we do have four 90s. Wiseman might be a 90 at the end of the year. I don't think any of uh, these guys will get in there. Unless Berea, but I doubt it. Hey, Fallen Water still ended up on our team somehow. They just don't want to leave us. All right, guys. So, here's the rotation for next year. It's pretty much been the same for, like, the last couple years now with the point guard. Uh, it's been Walker and Fox. But they've been getting 33. Or the backcourt has been getting 33. Tatum, 35 in the front court 31 and then we have overt smart i've been kind of fluctuating their minutes throughout the video holiday 18 and berea 15 uh yeah we'll do that because i want to give berea some playing time four and a half star balanced wiseman is really good there it's just kind of collins that's holding us down uh who's three and a half stars which kind of sucks but i'm not going for five stars just in proficiency and we're number four according to bit.com let's go for our sixth straight nba finals appearance and championship so we weren't as good this year we won 71 and 11. Brad Stevens gets his like fifth or sixth straight coach of the year award. We are the one seed once again, taking on the Cavs, who I believe in year two we faced in round one. Uh, they have Dinwiddie, Sexton, Zaire Williams, Usman Garuba, Drummond, Terrence Davis, Derek Rose, Zuka Semenik, and George Hill is still in the NBA at 38. Shout out to him still getting paid. What is he getting? 6.4 mil. Shout out to George Hill. Uh, he was on the Cavs before. He didn't end well with them. I, no, I mean, they made it to the finals. But yeah, here we are. Tatum, Wiseman, Studs. Wiseman's an 89. We are going to probably end with our whole starting five being 90s. Uh, so yeah, we're chilling here. Tatum, I believe, was open to an extension, but I kind of forgot to give it to him. Uh, this is year six. Let me just actually see. Uh, no. Oh. Did I give... Oh, no. Last year, Tatum got the extension. Duh, because he declined the player option. But yeah, we have no free agents this summer besides Aaron Holiday, but we'll have bird rights on him. Uh, I just hope we don't go over, like, the luxury tax or the hard... Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Round one here against the Cavs. We... Oh, my God. No. Okay, we waited six. That was the scariest round one we've had. Or maybe Chicago last year was the same thing. But, yeah. Now we're taking on the Knicks, who aren't good at all. That team is not very good. They should not beat us. Yeah, we went in five. Now we're taking on KD and Kyrie, but we have owned them in this video... And they're not that good outside of them, so I'm not too worried here. And we win in six. Pelicans for, like, the third year in the row. Do you guys want to beat us? Do you want to beat us? Like, I know we're your dad, but, like, it's okay. Like, we'll keep winning. 
we win in five. That's six straight NBA Finals. Two more to win eight straight. God, I wish this was the Bill uh, Russell challenge. So we do have the 30th pick in the draft. I don't think I'm going to need too much this offseason besides uh, Jason Taylor. We'll bring him back. But yeah, we'll bring back Aaron Holiday. I think I'm just going to auto-generate my pick. Or we can actually trade the pick for like future a future first. Yeah, we'll do it with like the Clippers future first. Just get another asset. Maybe that'll be higher than 30 next year. And we'll get um, a, uh, a higher ROI. Or uh, yeah, higher ROI there. And then yes, yeah, so I'm not going to move anybody. We'll keep smart. He's still going to shoot 38 from 3. I know he's only averaging 6 a night, but his defense is really good. And we have won every year with him. So we're obviously going to pick up the option on Pablo Berea. He had a better better sophomore year, so we're going to do that. Uh, let's see. Qualifying offers. We'll see who's the 2025 top free agents. Aiden is unrestricted, so is a 35-year-old Willard out of bio marketing. It's a good free agency, but nothing crazy. Uh, Barrett has been in Charlotte and Detroit. Uh, Jalen Green's restricted, but yeah, let's make sure we're gonna give Aaron Holiday some money here. He wants about 13 mil. I think we should be able to afford it, and we can. So it's literally the same exact rotation as last year. It's just a proficiency. We <gasps> Let's go! Let's go! Five star system proficiency. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's go. Five stars. So it takes some time to get to it. You develop your guys. Yo, get it. Let's go. Six straight finals. Whole starting five of 90s, basically, because Wiseman won't be at the end of this year. And we just got five-star system efficiency. You know, if we lost this year, I wouldn't even care. But you know what? Um, yeah, we just need to go to the finals for the next two years, and we complete the challenge. Season number seven, though, a little bit of a drop-off. We go 66 and 16. We're taking on the Pacers in round one. Well, we've done that a couple times in this video now. They still have Sabonis and TJ Warren. Uh, they have Ivica Zubats because of the Aaron Holiday trade. Uh, so, yeah, we can just see kind of the stats really quickly. Wiseman. Is now our leading point per game score. But yeah, did Wiseman also... Yeah, he's a 90. So Tatum's a 97. Will he get to a 99? Maybe. But yeah, we have five 90s. Levert's an 85. Holiday, 84. Smart, 87. He could get close. I don't know. Uh, Berea, he didn't do much either. Okay, but he did shoot 51% from the field. But only 4.4 points a game. So yeah, let's just go to our seven straight NBA Finals. And let's get the challenge rolling. So we sweep the Pacers. We're taking on Rudy, Jabari Parker, Hunter, and Trey Young of the hawks we should be chilling we sweep them can we go 16 and 0 oh they got anthony edwards oh but they don't have kd okay and they got bam though it's a good team Kyrie won mvp too but now we win in five and we're taking on dallas lucas in 99 they have winslow randall and kp still all right so yeah can we win we we've already completed it because i don't care if we lose we just needed to win three finals and we win it in seven wow we have won seven straight finals one more year one more year and we complete the LeBron James challenge. All right, guys, final year. Nobody was a free agent. We're going to roll with this team. It's won me seven straight NBA finals. Let's keep it going. So at the end of the eighth and final season, we go 65 and 17. One seed once again in the Eastern Conference. We're taking on the Raptors who have Shaquille O'Neal, <laughs> Darius Garland. All right, uh, he was a 2022 pick. Patrick Baldwin, he's been solid. Siakam, he's 33, but he's been incredible these last couple of years. Kostas is an 89 Jaden McDaniels, Bo Slaughter, that's a cool name, auto-generated guy. Bobby Portis, Eugene Weber, and Shake Milton. Uh, if we check out our squad, Marcus Smart was regressing, but everybody else is still kind of going up. 27-year-old uh, Wiseman's in 91. He was our best player, it looks like, Tatum. Uh, 98 overall, 29-year-old. There's Collins, he's in 90, 29. Brown is 30, he's, in the, he's a free agent. Uh, does he have a player option, or is he just a straight-up free agent? Okay, so he's just a straight-up unrestricted. There's Fox, who averaged 12 point two assists this year shot 43 from three and yeah just get into this come on raptors round one don't don't why are we down two to one come on please 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 all right all right good first quarter don't blow that do not blow that weed we're down three to one what the f what the hell we're down three to one oh come on don't tell me i sat through this all the way just to lose it in the last year all right bro you're getting t 11 minutes tonight uh smart will give you 20 three holiday 17 uh holiday's been playing well smart no sm oh smart you are losing some of your minutes we're gonna go 20 there lavert's been solid let's go 33 to wiseman 36 there 35 34 32 all right come on do not we need to they need to blow a three one lead on us they need to blow a three one lead all right good first quarter don't blow this okay it's gonna be three to two that's what i'm talking about tatum good game same with collins i don't care we need to win this one in toronto please 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 all right, there we go. There we go. We're going to win game seven. We won by 23. Oh, they're scaring me, guys. They're scaring me. Come on. Win game seven at home. Please let them blow through one lead. No! 
So we win seven straight finals, but we lose it. We lose in round one in seven games in year eight. I guess we were bound to. All right. So what I was going to ask for you guys before I simulate anymore was for the Bill Russell challenge, should I just pick up from here? Because for the Bill Russell challenge, you have to win eight finals in a row. You have to win eight in a row. So I was going to say if I complete it, I would just have to win three titles because you have to win 11 in 13 years. Do I just try to do a five-year rebuild? Have to win three times. Do you guys still want to see that? Do you want to see me pick up from this save? Let me know that in the comment section below or start fresh because if I start fresh, I might not even get as close as to what I could do now because I could still get 11 finals in 13 years. I just might not get the eight in a row part. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I was one year, three rounds away from getting to the finals and completing the challenge. That sucks. We went 7-0 in the finals. It didn't matter. I just needed to win three. But we do, unfortunately, lose in seven in year eight. That is going to be it for me, though. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Can we please hit like 2,000 likes on this video and let me know what I should do for the Bo Russell challenge in the comment section below. Should I keep this save and start from here and do like a six-year rebuild and try to win three finals or uh, four finals? Or should I do a whole new rebuild or and with a whole new te uh, different team? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for me. If you're still watching now, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.